Evening Church, Pastor Tim here. I think I've got my microphone working and everything going. So uh, welcome to our prayer meeting. Um, We've been meeting on Wednesday nights uh, here on Facebook Live um, for the last couple weeks because we're not able to meet in our church building at Salem. Uh, But this is an awesome opportunity for us to join together uh, in a time that's... uh, for a lot of people, very isolating, but very scary, but we still serve a God who is our rock and our salvation. So um, I want to welcome you. Uh, Thank you for for being with us. Um, While I'm praying, while we are um, spending a little bit of time in prayer together and in worship together, uh, I want to invite you, if you feel comfortable sharing a prayer request, you can do that in the comments section. And I, I see Pastor Terry's on. She'll see that in the comment section, uh, as will our staff. We'll, a lot of people maybe aren't able to join us live, but can see this through the week. So uh, this is a good opportunity for you to share prayer requests that you're comfortable sharing with the church community. And um, then we'll join with you in prayer. Um, obviously, we're going to be praying for our first responders, those who are um, helping out in the fight against uh, covid uh, Uh, 19 and uh, those who are leading us right now in these trying times. Um, And uh, I I wanted to uh, read something before we get started in prayer Um, that was from Philippians. Um, And Paul, when he was writing to the church in Philippians, uh, he he, uh, wrote this really interesting section where he talked about being glad and being thankful. Pastor Terry talked about giving thanks on Sunday. Um, and uh, Paul had gone through a lot. You know, he knew what it, what it meant to be imprisoned. He knew what it meant to be persecuted. And I, I find this very interesting. In chapter 4 of Philippians, he says, uh, starting in verse 10, I was very glad to the Lord because now at last you have shown concern for me again. Of course, you were always concerned, but had no way to show it. Now listen to this. Uh, I'm not saying this because I need anything, for I have learned how to be content in any circumstance. I know the experience of being in need and having more than enough. I have learned the secret to being content in any and every circumstance, whether full or hungry, whether having plenty or being poor. I can endure all these things through the power of the one who gives me strength. And I think that's the key thing, the power of the one that gives us strength. Um, We're going to have times in our lives where uh, we have plenty. We're going to have times in our lives where we don't feel like we have enough. Um, The the thing that that gets us through this is not our circumstances, uh, but the one we look to, which is is our God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. So I'm going to pray into that and ask you to join me. And we're just going to spend a little bit of time in prayer and worship. Again, you can... uh, uh, put any prayer requests you'd like us to share as a community in the comments section. And let's just go to God right now. Holy God, we come before you. We thank you that, that we can find contentment in you, that we can find our strength and our hope in you alone. And so God, many, many of us come to, to you today uh, in a place where we feel isolated. We feel alone. We, we, we maybe can't leave our houses. Um, or, or when we do go out of our houses, we're, we're, we're unsure, a little bit afraid. God, I ask that, that you would give us the peace that passes all understanding right now, that we can find our contentment, our joy, and our hope in you. We also pray right now, God, for our first responders, those who are in our community, who are fighting, our doctors, our nurses, also our leaders, both local our governmental leaders in the federal government, our president, our congressional leaders. I pray that you would give them all wisdom and guidance. I pray, Lord God, for those around the world who are fighting this. This is not just happening here in our nation, but it's a global pandemic. And I pray, God, that you would be leading and guiding all of us. All of your children, Lord God, we know that you love all of your children and that you have a plan and a purpose for each one of us. So God, we're just calling out to you to show us your mercy and help us, Lord God, even in times like this, to find contentment in you. 
to find our contentment in you alone. Attendeth my way when sorrows like sea billows roll. Whatever my life thou hast told. Shall we 
soul. So I'm going to sing that chorus again. I'm just going to encourage you, even if right now your emotions don't feel well, to try to sing that it is well with my soul. Sometimes we take a posture before we have a feeling. So we take a posture of praise before we feel our praise and actually it changes how we feel. Sometimes we do the right thing before we feel like doing the right thing. So if you are in a place right now where you don't feel like it is well with your soul, I'm still going to encourage you to try to sing this with me, that it is well with my soul. And if you can't even open your mouth, I hope you know that there are other people singing this over you that it is well, that that's part of being part of the body, is that even when you can't open your mouth, that there's people praying for you right now and praying with you right now. It is well, it is well with my soul, with my soul. sing a chorus and this is going to be the last chorus I sing and I'm just going to ask you where you're at if you would just sing along with me it just goes like this your love never fails it never gives up never runs out on me cause your love never fails it never gives up it never runs out on me cause your love never fails it never gives up it never runs out on me No matter who you are, no matter where you're watching from, you've got to know that that's true. That God is for you, not against you, even in these times. So this is just a song that we can praise our God with, and it's true. It's a firm foundation. Because your love never fails, it never gives up, it never runs out on me. Because your love never fails, it never runs out, it never runs out on me. Cause your love never fails, it never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love, your love. Cause your love never fails, it never gives up, it never runs out on me. Cause your love never fails, it never gives up, it never runs out on me. Cause your love. time. Your love never fails. It never gives up. Because your love never fails. It never gives up. It never runs out on me. Because your love never fails. It never gives up. It never runs out on me. Because your love never fails. It never gives up. It never runs out on me. Your love.
thank you for your love, God. And we can truly say it is well with our souls because we are with you. I pray that your Holy Spirit will continue to be round about us, even as we close this time of prayer, Lord God. I just pray that you would go with us, continue to be working on our hearts, God. Help us to continue being your church. And as you change our hearts, God, help us to be a church that can change the world. I pray, Holy Spirit, come in our hearts and in our lives. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for being with us. Um, and uh, again, thank you for sharing any prayer requests um, and just joining with us. I know I encourage you um, to, to join us in worship on Sunday morning. I know that we're, we're on uh, the third week of our prayer series. Help, thanks, and wow, the three essential prayers that we've been talking about. And so I, uh, I want to encourage you to join us in worship on Sunday. Um, also, visit our website and join one of our online groups. This is a great time for you to, to join with us and for all of us to continue being the church. Um, I want to thank you guys. Keep praying. This is a time the church needs to be a praying church. So I'd encourage you to continue praying. Okay. Thanks guys. See you a little later.